Hi, my name is Catherine and I am a Trim Healthy Mama. I have only been doing Trim Healthy Mama for just a little while, so I am definitely a newbie. So when you're watching my videos on how to eat out, please keep in mind that I'm gonna make mistakes and give me a little bit of grace on that because I am still learning every single day. I am learning something new. As part of Trim Healthy Mama, I try to make sure that my meals are all protein centered. It's not always perfect, but I try really hard to do that. I also try very hard to do low carb, healthy fats or low fat, healthy carb meals, which is the whole premise behind Trim Healthy Mama. And in addition to that, I actually try very hard to include non-starchy vegetables in all of my meals. I'm not always great about that, especially breakfast. It's hard for me to get veggies in at breakfast, but I do try and I try to vary everything. So I do try to get everything in there that I'm supposed to. <laughs> Well, here we are, Flounders, one of my favorite places to eat down on the beach. They really do have a lot of great choices if you don't care about eating healthy. But if you are eating healthy, like I am, seafood nachos on the appetizer menu would be a good choice if you didn't eat the chips. You could just eat the toppings. The Flounders shrimp and spinach dip would be good, again, without the chips, but then what do you eat it with? Eh. So let's look over at the steaks. Obviously steak is always a good choice, but they're very pricey at Flounders. Then they have the soup and salads. I actually love the Florida Cobb salad here. It does come with praline pecans, which you probably not want to get. And the mango salsa would be great, but it would make it a crossover. So up to you. The seared ahi tuna salad, is very similar to what they have at Meguiar's, if not the exact same thing. And then of course the grilled shrimp salad would probably be a fantastic choice as well. But it also has that mango salsa, so you'd have to make it a crossover, which of course crossovers are fine on THM. My favorite thing on these two pages though would have to be the tacos, the grilled mahi tacos. Mahi mahi is my favorite fish and these tacos are incredible. And again, it would be a crossover because it has the mango salsa, but I would eat it without the taco shells. I would just use a fork and just eat the inside. Or, honestly, I have been known to bring my own unplanned tortilla shells wherever I go. Now, if you're like me and you like fresh fish, there are some really good choices on this page. You have red snapper or gulf grouper, yellowfin tuna, mahi-mahi, or Alaskan salmon all fantastic choices but yes they're a little pricey at this seafood restaurant um the shrimp boat platter is going to have a lot of different things on there that would not necessarily be on plan you know fried and stuff like that then you have flounders classic stuffed flounder which would probably be very very good but i'm guessing that some of the stuffing would have off plan ingredients and then at the bottom, of course, you have all of Flounder's flash fried features. Now Flounder's pasta, I'm just gonna skip right over. And then at the bottom you have Flounder's fowl, the Hawaiian style grilled chicken breasts. I've never had those. I usually do tend to get seafood at a seafood restaurant, but I bet they're good. They probably would be a crossover since this is Hawaiian, I would assume pineapple or something like that would be served with it. Uh, the burgers and sandwiches, you know, burgers are often a very good choice if you just get them without a bun. The first option here is the fish po' boy, and it says golden fried or char grilled. So you could get a char grilled fish filet, um, and again, without the bread. So probably a good choice. You would just have to look through each of these and see if any of those look appetizing to you. And then you have the desserts. And I always avoid desserts out at restaurants. There's just no way around those. But there are so many wonderful THM desserts that I can have at home. Flounders also has a sushi bar, which I did not even know until a couple years ago. But a lot of sushi comes with rice, so you would want to look very carefully at the menu. I don't know much about sushi myself, but I believe sashimi comes without rice. And then there may be a few rolls on here Although the closer I look, the more I become convinced that probably sashimi is the only thing on here that would not have rice. 
Okay, let's talk about adult beverages. Uh, they have a lot of wines here, and they also have beer, and then they have nightly specials. And then you will also see some different martinis that they have, as well as my favorite, the diesel fuel. And then also some frozen drinks. I still drink on occasion, even though I am a Trim Healthy Mama. The way I look at it is, as long as I don't overindulge, and as long as I'm keeping an eye on my weight and I'm not blowing up, then it's okay. The Diesel Fuel is my favorite drink at Flounders, and it, there, there are lots of different varieties of the Diesel Fuel. I typically get the original because it doesn't come with all the fruity juices and things like that, and I don't like an overly sweet drink. It does come with a variety of different liquors, and it, it's got Coke in it. So you could ask for Diet Coke if you wanted to just lower the sugar a little bit. But again, since I don't finish the whole thing, I don't really worry about it too much. And if you're wondering, yes, I did get one on this occasion. But I only drank about a third of it. Remember, you can do THM your way, and this is my way. Okay, so now, what did I have for dinner? Many times my budget determines which item I get on this menu. This particular evening, I lucked out and my husband said I could have the mahi-mahi. The mahi-mahi is my favorite and I got it blackened with a side of the Yukon Gold potatoes and the asparagus. This was a crossover because of the potatoes and the mango salsa that you can see here on the side. But of course, crossovers are fine. They're not conducive to weight loss and I am trying to lose weight, so it's not something that I would do on a regular basis. Oh, and I almost forgot. Yes, they brought bread. And yes, I avoided it. We were here with friends and I did not want to ask for the bread not to be brought to the table, so it really wasn't a big deal. I decided that I had my little diesel fuel, my big diesel fuel, and I was gonna have my mahi-mahi, so I wasn't really worried about the bread. It wasn't even a temptation. Overall, we really enjoyed dinner, but even more we enjoyed being out at the beach and seeing all the people and the water. It was just a beautiful uh, afternoon, and we definitely will be going back. Flounders is one of our favorite places to visit on Pensacola Beach, and we go multiple times a year. Uh, if you're not from here and you ever come to visit, I would recommend coming during the winter. It's a lot less crowded. But even when there are crowds, it's a great time. My husband and I have a travel vlog on YouTube that is what inspired these THM videos. We eat out a lot, and so I wanted to explore how difficult or how easy it could be to make sure that I make good choices on healthy eating while we're eating out. And I discovered that it really isn't so hard as long as you're willing to ask the server questions and make substitutions. And most restaurants are more than willing to accommodate you. If you are interested in following or subscribing to our travel vlog, please look at the description below where I will link to that other channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you can get something really great out of it. Feel free to comment below and tell me what choices you might have made. Also, maybe if you saw any mistakes that I made, I'd be happy to address those as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and make sure that you turn on your notification bell so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day.